So once again, it's the Political Brown Kid back with more men, women, relationship information. So, of course, these videos, I think they're older videos by a couple of months, but um, apparently there was some singles event. It was a black singles event, which, um, you know, fits into my genre, but I definitely would never have attended. Um, but it was a singles event, I think, in Dallas, Texas. Um, and I think it was a Kona Grill. And no men showed up. It looked like there was one guy, though. It looked like there was one guy sitting off on the side. But it was a bunch of women there. And there was no guys. Now, the woman that was holding the camera and the woman that was doing the panning around, she you know, had the camera on herself. Then she panned it around to show the rest of the room. I found her to be interesting because, and, and maybe I should not judge a book by its cover, but I am. And, and I could be totally off with this female because she was probably out just putting her best foot forward. Because we all do. We all like to stunt, right? We all like to throw our stunner shades on, throw our best on, and go out the house. But she looked like the type of sister that would just be shooting brothers down at this event. She just did. She looked like the type of female that would be like, I'm the I'm the bomb. I'm, I'm the, you know what? You know, don't even talk to me unless you look like pretty Ricky, you know? You know, you have to be Max Julian to come talk to me. You have to be you have to be one of the pretty boys. And so she just looked, she just had that look on her face. And once again, maybe I'm judging a book by its cover. But she had her stunner shades and her stunner outfit on. She just looked she just fit that type to me. But the reason why I want to talk about this is because I think this is where females, in my personal opinion, go wrong. And I hope there are a lot of females out here listening to this video. Females do not attend these events. I keep I've made several videos on this before. Now I'm going to just speak from my perspective, but I think I can speak for a lot of guys. We're not going to show up to these events. And number one is because the events are like they're just to me they're contrived. They're contrived events, right? These events are and men. I know personally I don't like a contrived event. You're telling me, you know, I'm going in with the expectation. We're all go herding into this one particular spot because we're all saying we're all lonely. We don't have nobody and we just need to come here and find somebody. It's like attending a mixer. And so it's like the women know that I'm there looking for a woman and I know that they're there looking for a man. And so now it's like, OK, now I got to figure out who to approach. It just seems like a contrived event. It's, it's almost like hunting. If you if you're from if you're a hunter, it's almost like hunting in the natural wild or versus somebody taking you to a hunting preserve where there are fences, where the animals are locked in this like little 20 by 20, 20 feet by 20 foot space. They can't run anywhere. They're just out in the open and you just get to back. You know, you just get to take them out. It, there's really no fun in that. You know, if you it's contrived, it's kind of like, oh, man, this is this just takes out the natural element. I need to be in a natural element where I'm just walking down the street and I see this, you know, pretty thing. And I stop and say, hey, what's going on? And I strike up a nice conversation. So, number one, because the events are contrived, we're not really into that. And then I'm going to say, two, when guys go to these events. It's your egos are really going to get crushed, at least mine. And let, me, and let me speak from my personal perspective. My ego right now has been crushed to the point where it's like, I'm going to be honest. I've been questioning and doubting myself because I've been reje particularly rejected online a lot. But I've gotten rejected in public, too. It's like, you know, the very few times that I've seen women in public that looked approachable, they've just said no. You know, they just said no. And then a couple of them gave me their number. And then when I called them, they just were very lukewarm, like, why is he calling me? And so it was just kind of like, wow. So and then definitely online, not getting like literally when I get hits online, it's from 77 year old women, 68 year old women. And it's like, wow, this is what I'm into and like all of these other women that are in my age range that's 40 something they're not you know when i they, they're coming to my page because i can see who's been coming to my page because you know some of these apps are showing you this person's visited your page look at all of the people that you visited the page and you didn't like what you saw because you didn't hit the like button 
So when when you're a guy and you start getting shot down a lot and, you, and, and you're not getting any responses from women online and people are treating you like you're invisible, now it's like your confidence level has gone way down. It has gone way down because now you're like, man, these women don't even like me. And not to mention, they don't like me. And I'm reading all of this stuff on TikTok, Twitter, and, um, and YouTube. But I'm, I'm seeing all of these Cynthia G type women that are calling black men dusty, that are saying that they don't want to deal with us. They want a white man. They want this. They don't like black men. And when they start saying all this stuff, and then, it, then I really start doubting myself. So now your ego comes into play. So now when I have to attend this event, now I'm attending this event. And now basically it's kind of like being on Shark Tank because the women don't have to do anything at these events, right? Nothing is required of women in society. They're going to singles events just to sit back and be approached. The worst thing that's going to happen for a woman is I didn't get approached by anyone. That's the worst that's going to happen. And trust me, that's a hard thing, too, because that's a form of rejection when no one approaches you. But the hard thing for men is I got to walk through this singles event and approach five different women and be like, hey, how you doing? You know, so and so. Boom. And then she'd be like, no, don't talk to me. And then you got shot down once. And then you got to move on to the second one. And then when you're moving on to the second one, you're probably already thinking, well, this second girl already saw me approach the, the previous girl. So she knows that she's my second choice. And now I got to talk to her with her knowing the fact that I just tried to talk to another female before I talked to her. And since that plan didn't work out now, I'm moving on to her. So those type of variables start coming into play. The other thing, too, and I'm going to say at least for me, I don't like competing with other men. And when you start attending these type of events, basically you're competing with other guys. And my thing is, I'm not competing with no other guy. Like I told y'all before, I had this one female and she tried to let me know she wanted to date me and this other dude, another white, a white dude at that. And so my thing is, if you can't make your mind up, I'll make your mind up for you. Go ahead and be with him. Because my thing is, I'm not going to, I don't have time to sit up here and be like, why wow, you need to choose me? You need to drop that dude and be with me. I don't have time for that. Either you want to be with me or you don't. Because if you're wishy washy now, you're going to be wishy washy in the future. And so my thing is, going to these singles events and the speed, especially speed dating, I would never do speed dating. But when you start going to these singles events, if you're in a room with other men, now I got to compete with other dudes. And now these women just get to sit back. Once again, it's kind of like, you know, <clears throat> they just get to sit back again and just have dudes come up to them and they just get to choose which one they want. And now I got to compete with some other guy. And I don't want to be involved in that. I really don't. And when you look at the speed dating setup, which is kind of similar to going to a singles event, you got to sit down, at least from what I saw on television. It looks like everybody's lined up. The women are sitting on one side of the table, men are sitting on the other. And now as I'm talking to one woman, I got five minutes to make a pitch. That's not enough time. I'm, I'm not going to, once again, it feels forced. Next, I'm I probably have to sit down with a woman I don't want to talk to. She doesn't want to talk to me. And then I also got to look to my left and to my right, see two other dudes that I got that came before. One's come before me. And then one's going to come after me and we just got to keep it moving. To me, that doesn't work. Uh, that that setup, I don't know how they, these setups try to work. And, you know, I don't know how people are making this stuff type. You know, I don't know how people are making this type of stuff work in their favor. You know, the women, once again, they're the ones that benefit from all this. And that's my final comment, too, is that men don't benefit from singles events at all. I'm just trying to very few men. Like I say, if you're the pretty boy, if you're Max Julian, you're going to benefit from these type of events. If you're um, some basketball player and you're six five, you know, built and chiseled and muscled up, you're going to benefit from these events. But if you're just a regular dude, you're not going to benefit from these events more than less likely, because going to singles events and going to these speed dating type of environments is basically internet 2.0. It's internet dating 2.0. And so what I mean by that is when you look at internet dating, most of the internet apps, they'll tell you that the women are outnumbered by the men. It's a majority of men <clears throat> on the dating apps chasing 
you know, fewer women. And the majority of the women are pursuing the top 10% of the guys. And they're ignoring the other 80, 90% of the guys. Now, I will say this. At these singles events, I'm pretty sure that there will be more women there than men because they're the ones that come out for this type of stuff. As you can see from the, um, from the woman that came out, none of the guys showed up. But it would still be the same. If you had a room full of, let's just say there were 30 women in a room and there were 15 guys. Those 30 women would only be interested in probably five guys. And then the other 10 the other two thirds of the guys would just be getting shot down. They would just be getting shot down. They would be getting ignored or just shot down altogether. And then the other women would be honed in and focused on the on those five. And women don't mind competing with other women. So those those thirty women would compete with each other for those five guys to make sure that they got interest from those five and that's how the women operate so really once again it's internet dating the women get to have the guys come to them they get to have their options of guys that they want to pick and then they just get to reject the other guys that's what this that's what these women do they will all gravitate toward the elite men and that, that's just how it is. And women are great at holding the line. And what I mean by that is they're not going to lower their standards. And whatever their standards are, their standards, trust me, those attributes are going to be looks, height, physique, vibe, whatever a vibe is, net worth, emotional IQ, your passport status, occupation, your simpability, and that means your your ability, whether you're going to spend money on her and, you know, cater to her, you know, she's going to hold the line on her standards. So she's going to be like, my standards are my standards. And she's going to demand that a man be on her level, whatever that may be. And it's going to attain some of those attributes that I just mentioned. And so thus, when she does that, she's going to refuse to talk to the average man that attends these events. But then she's going to flip the event. She's not going to say that the event or that she failed at the event or that the event was a failure. But what she's going to do is she'll just say, OK, well, there's no good men here. Me and my girls, we here anyway. So let's just um, have us a few drinks. We're going to just sit back and laugh and we'll just people watch. We'll watch all the guys get shot down. We'll laugh and, you know, talk trash about the guys. We'll laugh at his shoes and the way he's dressed at his um, facial features or his body type. So they'll just sit back and just start, you know, having their own little fun. And then they'll just leave the event and talk and, you know, get on the phone and talk to their friends about how, you know, about, you know, and talk bad about the guys that were there. And they'll just say that we had a good time, we drank, and they'll flip the event. So either way, women always come out of these things looking fantastic. They just do. And so... I'm saying all that to say this is that when you start seeing these singles events, these women, it seems like and what I'm kind of figuring out for myself now is that women that are doing online dating, it's like, well, why are you doing online dating? Do you have a social, it, because from what I read on the profiles of how women, and I, and I have a whole video that runs over an hour of showing how women write profiles that are just so mean, nasty, and negative. It's like the women, if you're dating online, it's like, why are you dating online? Unless you're just a busy woman that really doesn't, or a woman that doesn't really get out much, I can kind of understand it. Or if you reach the point that I've reached where you've just gone out, gone out, and gone out, and you just haven't run into anybody, I kind of understand it. But I've run across a lot of weird women online. I've run across women, they look pretty, and I'm like, oh my God, me and her match. What? I finally get a hit with a beautiful woman and then when you start talking to them on the phone they don't have anything to say and it's like it's like pulling teeth you're, you're throwing out all different kind of topics you're just throwing topics out throwing throwing and nothing sticking and it's like man talking to her is difficult you know so i've run into some very quirky personalities and so i'm saying that to say this is that i think people that do internet dating and you can throw myself in this group i'm, I'm throwing myself in internet dating because i'm desperate i've tried bitten, getting out in public i don't run into anybody so now the only other option is internet dating for me 
But I think a lot of people that do internet dating, I think they have some personality issues and that's why they're probably possibly single, number one, and also possibly they're not getting the results of that because they have some issues with them, whether they're extremely demanding, whether they're just nasty, cruel individuals, so forth. And so some of these women that are probably at these speed dating events or these mixers, these singles, they're probably the same way. Because most people in life, if they see somebody and they're receptive and open to meeting people, when a guy approaches them in the streets, they will say, hey, how you doing? They'll give them the number and they'll give them a chance. But it just doesn't seem like it's working out that way in life. So a lot of these women and men have to resort to speed dating or social, going to these contrived events. And I think that that's when the desperation kicks in. And trust me, I'm pretty soon going to get desperate because I'm almost at the end of my barrel because trust me, I've been striking out a lot. And so maybe speed dating and mixers is next for me. I don't know. I hope not. But this has just been my take on singles events and why men shouldn't go to them and even why women should not even attend them. And women should just get out more and just make themselves more receptive and more open. And even if you're going to date online, just be open to dating the regular guy. I'm tired of seeing women's profiles saying, I keep running into these creeps. I, I'm back again. This is the last time. They, they sound like they're so frustrated. But then you have to ask yourself, you have to be like, well, why, have you switched up who you're trying to date? Have you, like, maybe it's a pattern. Maybe you've been dating all of these type of guys. Maybe you need to switch. But see, black women, they'll do something interesting. They'll date all of the particular guys, and then they'll just jump from those particular guys to white guys, or those particular guys to Asian guys, those particular guys to Latino guys. They don't give the other black guys a chance. They don't give other black guys like myself a chance. They don't they don't say, oh, well, well, we'll try this group of black guys now. They just go from this particular black guy that they're, they're, they're type to just jumping into the white pool. So that's all I had to say. Let me know your thoughts on this. This is the Political Brown Kid. Wish me luck in the dating arena.